Hi, we're here in one of the indoor gardens at Wageningen campus and I will have an interview with uh, Sanneke and Martin, two uh, researchers on a, a fifth world power plant project in Amsterdam. I will ask them questions about uh, energy storage, about virtual power plants, but especially about the roles of uh, citizens in energy transitions. And what I want to know from them is uh, what roles citizens may have in future energy systems. They're waiting over there. Hi, Sonica and Martin. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions about uh, energy storage and virtual power plants, uh, but especially about uh, the role of citizens in energy transition. And first of all, uh, when looking at such topics as uh, energy storage and virtual power plants, what does this tell us about energy transitions? Uh, well, first of all, there is a high dynamic of change. The, the whole sector is unmistakably undergoing uh, considerable transformation. Yeah. Um, and this has uh, implications for all the uh, stakeholders involved, including mm -hmm. its citizens, yeah. um, in their role as householders. Yeah. Uh, now, this transition is being driven by technological development, um, but this development has implications for the um, social organization of the entire system mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and what does this tell us about uh, the role of citizens and other stakeholders in energy transitions? Stake, uh, citizens are uh, important, but there are also other stakeholders, such as uh, municipal authorities uh, and energy uh, providers, um, yeah. but also uh, energy cooperatives um, that play a role in co-creating the uh, energy system of the, the future. Yeah. Um, but what we see in the virtual power plant project is that it is energy providers together with citizens who are co-creating the future energy system. Yeah. Um, the citizens, uh, however, could be said to be in a role of uh, a host for the batteries. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they provide uh, the space uh, yeah. for the batteries in yeah. their homes. They also uh, give the providers access to their energy production and uh, consumption data, yeah. Um, yeah. which the providers then use to uh, remotely steer the batteries. Yeah. So, but so, they are a host of the battery and they're not co-creating in, in other ways, do they? In a sense, they are uh, co-creating, but uh, by giving access to their homes, giving access to their energy production yeah. uh, and uh, energy, uh, energy infrastructure yeah. and uh, the data that is generated. Uh, so clearly citizens matter, uh, except that it isn't fully recognized by all the parties involved. Uh, this transition affects uh, citizens' um, homes, uh, their energy practices, their lives. So it would be good for uh, all these different stakeholders, the municipalities, the energy companies and the private citizens to pause for reflection on that fact. Actually, um, one can see from the examples provided around storage that one key relation is at stake and that is the power relation between the uh, energy providers and the end users of uh, the energy. Uh, because of the technological development around um, uh, data, uh, sorry, energy storage, um, energy generation and usage, uh, this uh, relationship is being uh, reformulated and reinvented uh, in this transition. So what may we expect for the future? What future developments may take place? Um, well, first of all, uh, what you see is that, that these citizens who are participating in these projects, they're doing so because um, they um, um, see that there is a need for change and they want to do their part in making this change mm -hmm. possible. That means that some of them actually want to be dynamically connected to these new kinds of experiments. Yeah. Like uh, virtual power plant. Like project. the virtual power yeah. plant. Um, however, in this particular uh, project so far, 
uh, there isn't really any space for active involvement in this project. Uh, the citizens or the participants don't really have any say over uh, how they use their energy, um, how it is stored or shared uh, with others, um, the particular configurations of the technological system, the battery, yeah. um, these kinds of things. Yeah, and are there then also other projects or initiatives in which uh, citizens have a different role? Yes, you also see uh, more bottom-up initiatives, for example, energy uh, cooperatives who generate their own uh, green ele electricity. Yeah. And um, what you also see now is that these energy cooperatives in such cities such as Amsterdam would like to take a, a next step yeah. and for example also become uh, their own energy supplier or yeah. uh, manage their own uh, grid. And the problem is that there are currently still legal barriers uh -huh. to that, but this might change in the future. And that's also a moment when uh, storage will come in handy because it would allow these uh, energy communities to, uh, to manage the balance of their local energy uh, network. Um, but then it would also uh, raise new questions because these communities would have to decide on how to organize the uh, ownership and control of their energy infrastructure and they would need to decide on how to uh, organize the energy exchange. Yeah. Um, so uh, they would be in a much more active role and also uh, possibly engage in new uh, relationships with green companies, uh, NGOs and uh, energy providers in order to uh, reach their goals. Yeah, okay, so that is, uh, uh, as you said, that it is inside of the conventional uh, system, then you see that maybe actors from this conventional system come back again uh, in these bottom-up initiatives Yes, in, well. in a facilitating role, yes. Yeah, so the main difference here is that actually the uh, users are in a leading role now in relationship to right. these yeah. other um, uh, stakeholders. So as a last question, uh, when looking back, how could uh, practitioners and policy makers, how could they uh, contribute to making uh, energy systems that are more sustainable in the future? Right, um, well, one way would be to make visible the, the possible configurations of the technology involved. Um, in the uh, VPP uh, pilot project that we've yeah. seen earlier, um, the blue uh, casing for the battery uh, that they are using actually hides the battery and prevents easy access to it. Yeah, so it's citizens cannot do anything with these. They could batteries. if they wanted to, but sort of the way that it's been configured, I, it's. For, to me, it kind of uh, nicely symbolized the, um, the, the fact that the, the battery and its uh, different functions uh, are actually a little bit of a black box for the participants. Yeah. Uh, it's not entirely clear when the battery is doing what. Yeah. Um, uh, as we saw with the uh, participant that we've interviewed, um, it's also quite difficult to reproduce exactly uh, the different um, you know, phases and functions of uh, what the battery is going to do in this project. Um, so there's a role for scientists here that um, um, to kind of um, open up the black box mm -hmm. um, and, and such open up the discussion about uh, you know, what is possible and what is um, uh, desirable. Yeah, so but that is then uh, both about uh, developing new technologies uh, and innovating, uh, but it's also about uh, the new roles and responsibilities that emerge together with these technologies. Yes, exactly, and um, in that respect, there is uh, more uh, possibility to uh, also experiment with these. Uh, new social roles. So what you see is that in the experiments the focus is mainly on experimenting with technology and politicians could for example allow um, energy cooperatives or communities mm -hmm. um, and give them the right to um, also engage in energy supply and uh, management. Yeah. So um, instead of experiments that are uh, sort of within the rationality of the existing systems and traditional roles, this would open up the room for uh, co-creation to also uh, allow more innovative uh, forms of co-creation in which citizens are uh, in a more active and leading uh, role. 
So thank you very much for your interesting insights in uh, energy storage and uh, photovoltaic plants and the role of citizens in energy transition. And as you see from uh, this case on energy transitions and citizens, there's a lot going on. And when you look at cities worldwide, uh, co-creation of energy systems is a very important topic. And this makes me wonder what's going on in your city.